Hey, honey. Oh. I gotta ration the water. <laughs> gotta ration the water. You ready for some more? You can only get a quick sip. <laughs> Been walking for hours. We have not walked. Shh. <laughs> Oh yeah, we walk. We are we are on mile twenty. It's long yeah, enough. I'm overkilling, right? Twenty minutes there, twenty minutes back. That's almost an hour.
There's the SpongeBob coral on the starboard side. Let's begin the true climb to the crater. Oh, that was So it. far, we've reached about 3,500 feet above sea level. We're going to reach a little over 10,000 feet when we get to the rim of the crater. Oh, my goodness. Also, if this vehicle has a thermometer display, take a look at the temperature here, and let's see how much colder it is at the top. For the first part of our climb, we're going to see a few more houses and farming land. But those will soon give way as we get higher since growing conditions get a little more difficult with altitude. We'll negotiate through 21 switchback curves on this first section. So strap in and get comfortable. This is quite a drive. Here we go. Let's climb up to Haleakala, the house of the sun.
talk about volcanoes. I'm sure that by now you already know that the Hawaiian Islands are the result of volcanic activity. It's so interesting how even in the mythology surrounding Pele, what's being described, though it's not logical in our scientific terms, has some similarities to our modern geological explanations. It suggests that the ancient Hawaiians developed stories and theories based on their observations, and they seem to make some clever conclusions. An example is how Hawaiian legend says that Pele first tried to make a home on Kauai, then on Oahu, then here on Maui, and then finally on the Big Island. You'll see what I mean as I explain island formation. I have to admit, our geology is less entertaining as pure storytelling, and I don't want to make this seem too much like a lecture. So, I'll do my best to stick to the major facts and not get too complicated. name of the mountain? Hali, Haleaka Mountain. Um, about, again, 10,000 feet in the air. The air, the air is thinner, so I got to be careful how, how hard I walk because it's not as much air up here as it is down there. This is that Pittsburgh. Steelers. It's a Pittsburgh cold. But the view is worth it. Terry, she don't want to go any further up the hill. No, no, no. I think we should go. It's like it's a good 30 35 32 out there now so we're going to watch the sunset from the comfort of our car yes and this is our view look at god showing off again <laughs> and again and again <laughs> Ooh. It is impossible to get used to this. It, it just, every day there's something different. And, uh, and what I'm recording on video is minuscule to what my eyes is viewing. So, if you ever get the opportunity to get to Maui, you gotta get on top of this mountain.
kind of this way. Sister Annie. 